Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a second year medical student in New York City at NYU Grossman School of Medicine. And if you're a regular, if you're already subscribed, welcome back. Thank you so much for being a part of my journey. I have gotten so many questions on my curriculum um, and so I think it was time for me to finally do a deep dive into my medical school curriculum. Quick TLDR if you're not familiar with medical school curriculums. So traditionally it was two years of preclinical or like in the classroom and then two years of clinical but then schools started trying to like shorten preclinical so now there's a good bit of schools that are like 1.5 years preclinical and then two and a half um clinical and then there's a couple of schools like mine that just want to be special and so we have a one year preclinical and then we have like three years after where we're doing clinicals so i got you guys to submit your questions and i'm just going to kind of go through all of those and answer them so uh, the first question was how do you do a preclinical in one year well my friends the good thing is i don't know anything else like I have never done medical school before, so I don't know what it would be like to be in a one year, one and a half year preclinical or two year preclinical. Um, all I do know is that it was a very fast paced, but like talking to my friends at other medical schools, like their curriculum is also fast paced. Um, some kind of way my school was able to fit it all in um, and it worked out. To give you guys like a breakdown of what my first year looked like, it was, I'll be referring to it as like one year preclinical, but it was actually 11 months. So we started in August of last year and we went all the way through June 30th of this year. So we essentially had four or five courses through our first year. So the first one was foundational clinical skills. So this is the course where you're like learning how to be a doctor. So we'd meet in small groups and work through cases, learn how to take a history, and then we'd also like go to the hospital and practice doing um, history and physical exams on patients. And then that also included our OSCEs, which are objective standardized clinical exams. See, I finally got it right. If you've seen my other videos, and I usually don't know what my acronyms are. But that course is longitudinal, so it's throughout our entire first year. But then we have um, our like other courses. So we started with foundations of medicine that was the longest course from august through october which was three months long um and during that we kind of learned like microbio the basics of farm rheumatology msk a little bit of biochem like all of that good jazz i will say that compared to like the previous year's curriculum that was 1.5 year preclinical i think they cut off slash condense a lot of our first course which is like dna organelles and cells and so i think that we did not get like a solid like biochem foundation they did tell us like the summer before we started like these are things you can review if you don't feel like as competent or like as comfortable with them did i review them no because i was in my best life this summer before medical school and now that i'm studying for step it's kind of kicking me in the booty like having to relearn like glycolysis like, all of that good stuff but honestly like i think i would have had to relearn it for step anyways because who remembers the crab cycle nobody honestly like i didn't feel like when terms of learning like through the rest of the year and got to organ systems i didn't feel like i missed out on anything um so yeah it worked out we moved into cpk so cardio palm and kidney and we did this we did renal then cardio then palm um and so that was november to mid-february this is the first time they taught renal before cardio and i think they're actually switching it back for this year's class because most schools will do cardio then renal if i'm yeah i think that's how most schools do it um but honestly i just think that because the renal people like went first they like thought we had all of this foundational stuff that normally other classes would have because they had learned cardio first so i think there was like a little bit of disconnect but other than that it was fine um renal was super fast we had what two renal exams our exams are every two weeks so we had like four weeks of renal super fast um but you know 
renal sucks so i'm glad i didn't have anything longer than that and then we did gerd so gerd was february through april and so that was gi endocrine and reproductive and yeah it was in that order nothing much to say about gerd we finished with brain and behavior that was two months may to june so we started with all of like the neuro stuff and then in the end we started like integrating like neuro and psych and then we like just had psych at the very end and then we had anatomy like integrated throughout so you know like when we were in cpk like the first couple of weeks of cpk we went into the lab and did like looking at the heart and all of that good jazz and we also do prosection which i love um so there's prosection there's dissection for anatomy dissection of course everybody knows what dissection is i personally do not know what prosection is it's basically like where you have someone they dissect everything for you and then you just like go in there and like identify the stuff and it's super fun i loved that because i don't want to be a surgeon and i don't want to take all of my time dissecting um the cadavers but some people feel differently and the thing that i like is that i think there's like elective that we can take later and if you want to like go in there and dissect then like by all means like you can go in there and do it with like our anatomy director and he will be totally fine so it's not like you don't have the opportunity to dissect at all it's just like not a main part the other thing that i was forgetting i feel like we also like shaved a lot of our anatomy time down so i do feel like i'm not as comfortable with anatomy as i would like to be hoping that it'll get better like when i do my surgery rotation um so yeah i'm just trying to share like pros cons so i didn't really like that other than that i think that was like preclinical we had exams every two weeks most of our exams were on fridays we can take our exams remotely so if you want to like fly home on like thursday afternoon and take your exam at home on friday have the weekend then you could absolutely do that so i loved that i think that every two weeks was super fast i kind of felt like i was in cram mode for like all the first year so it was like cycle so we'd have like our first week where everybody's like chilling and then second week we'd be, be on the grind take the exam friday and then it's like post exam we can live our best life start exam like kind of ramp up but like still be chilling grind like it was just like a cycle um but honestly there's like some schools where the exams are like every three months and that would indeed be terrifying to me so i am super happy i really did like having exams every two weeks it kind of helped me to like kind of got me to like stay on top of my crap um so it works out i think the main thing that is really 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 weird with our curriculum is that we are taking step one like i'm taking it in like 15 days so it kind of depends so there are some schools where you will take step one and step two after you do your like core clerkships and there are other schools where you take step one before you do your core clerkships but still with those schools they've had 1.5 to two years of preclinical before they're taking it so we are taking it super early after only 11 months of being in school and i was initially very terrified and i feel like it kind of like made me very stressed out during my first year but now that i am in the middle of studying for step one like it's hard of course but there's so many other videos we, we can dive into that in another video i am really liking the fact that i'm kind of getting like a broad review of everything before i dive into clerkship so i feel like when i go into my rotations i will just like have re-solidified all of my knowledge so i feel like i'll be stronger going into rotations so i'm really looking forward to that and it'll be nice when i finish rotations i will only have to take step two so i won't have to like go back and like focus on all the biochem stuff um so overall i think it will work out and the last thing that I want to say about our curriculum so there are also like traditional like curriculum and then also there is organ systems based so traditional is like you have an anatomy class you have a histology class you have a pathology class you have a pathophysiology class um and so it's like you might like learn all of anatomy like at the beginning of the year and then like you'll learn all of pathophysiology but it's not like based on the organ systems it's not all integrated so i really loved that we did organ systems so like i said like we did our foundation to like set the baseline but then we did like we learned all of cardio and so during that like we learned anatomy for cardio we learned regular phys physiology and then we learned pathophysiology and treatment all in the same so i think that was really good because like just makes everything connect a little bit better in my head and then i think also like combining cpk together and then GERD and then brain and behavior like those are all like interrelated organ systems so i'm very happy and i think it all worked out the next question what are you doing for the other three years that's a very good question we're like in a weird situation because the class above us is 
they did one and a half and then two and a half so one and a half preclinical two and a half clinical which is like normal for a lot of schools and then the class below us is doing three-year curriculum so they're one year preclinical two years clinical and they can all graduate in three years if they want or they can do like dual degree or anything like that research year if they want to stay for four so we were just kind of like the weird in between like hey we kind of need to do like a transition so we don't want to do too much at once so like here's your class honestly it works out because i don't want to graduate in three years but i also really did enjoy the one year preclinical but now like even professors are like so what are you doing for the other three years and i'm like <laughs> if you don't know I don't know and like our office of medical education like they know i'm just like regular professors or like physicians that i'm shadowing um so the one thing that i do know is i have a year of core clerkships so again like every school has this where you have to do all the basics of like medicine ob gyn surgery all that good jazz and so that is going to be next year for me taking step then we will start rotations in October and I will go all the way in through the end of July and I actually have that rotation schedule so I wanted to share with you guys we have four blocks that are 10 weeks each um and so they're combined so you have a surgery block and so surgery is actually I think regular surgery is six weeks and then you have two weeks for a surgery related elective and then you have two weeks of like general like unrestricted elective time or vacation I'm taking vacation and then we have psych neuros combined and then we have medicine and then there is pizza OB. so I will take step one go home for a couple weeks come back for orientation and then dive into surgery so I am gonna do six weeks of regular surgery which everyone does I don't really I don't know all the details they'll tell me soon but um for my surgery related elective I'm going to do emergency medicine they had like neurosurgery emergency medicine anesthesiology like there's so many different like anything surgery related like ophthalmology all that good jazz um I chose EM because like being super early and like doing surgery super early in my clinical rotations I really just wanted to like chill out not do anything um too too crazy and but I really wanted to like hone in like history physical like differential diagnoses and I feel like you can do that in New York it's like people come in with these symptoms you have to like figure it out and you have to figure it out fast um so yeah that's that and then do psych and then I'll do neuro um then I'll do medicine I'm starting for medicine I'm starting with ambulatory care which is just basically like outpatient and then I'll do inpatient medicine um and for those that are like not familiar with medicine just refers to like internal medicine before I got to medical school I was like everything's medicine what are you talking about medicine medicine just means internal medicine then I'll do peds and then I'll end with OB so that'll be fun I'm super excited um it's gonna be crazy I'm terrified of surgery because I feel like I'm not gonna get any sleep but I am super excited just to like do things hands-on and learn and I hope it goes really well. That accounts for two years. We have the one-year preclinical, one-year core clerkships. What are you doing the other two years? So all I know is what they've told us for our graduation requirements. So I know that we have a total of 32 weeks of electives. So that is a lot. And then we also will have to do like sub eyes, like advanced electives and clerkships and all that good jazz. So when they tell me, I will let you guys know but I think it just ultimately means like I'm gonna have more flexibility third and fourth year oh, I did want to also mention one thing that we also have is our area of scholarly concentration so during my third and fourth year I will be able to take three months slash 12 weeks um to dedicate doing to research or you can do eight weeks of research four weeks of clinical um and so it's basically like dedicated research time so I'm super excited for that I think that the I was doing like a research fellowship this summer um partnership through nyu and the nih and i was like of course like in eight weeks like how much can you really do i made a lot of progress um uh, but i'm looking forward to probably going back rejoining that lab during my third fourth year like you know like generally and just like helping out you know but then also like having three months that i can dedicate to research time so i'm looking forward to that and it's required another thing to think about when you're like looking into medical school is like if you want a school that's research heavy like do they require research so like they require research for us so of course like we have really huge research infrastructure which has been really great um to get that exposure do you get vacation yes 
um that was honestly one of the cons of the one-year preclinical we got one week of spring break and we literally got one week of christmas and i think like two days for thanksgiving not a lot but during preclinical i felt like it was relatively flexible because you don't have mandatory things every single day and so if there's nothing mandatory like our lectures aren't mandatory at all so there's nothing mandatory like you could go home for the week um and so i was still able to like go home and hang out with my fam so for clerkships we have like a week in between every 10 week block so after the first 10 week block we have christmas vacation so we'll have a week off for that but like i said we have like two weeks unrestricted slash vacation time um during the surgery block so that works out so i'm gonna have three weeks off for christmas which is really nice we do get thanksgiving off but it's like two days so there's not enough time for me to fly home after the second 10 week block we have like integrated clinical skills but they said the first one will only be like three days and then we'll have the rest of the week off um so it'll be like five days so i'm probably gonna go home go to the beach and then after the third one we'll have a week off for spring break and then after the fourth one another like clinical skills block and then i think studying for step two but hopefully since i'll be in you world throughout the whole school year then i will be able to like dive in and like take step two early and then maybe have some more vacation um but still like weekends and then yeah no holidays um other than christmas and thanksgiving but yeah and first year was like super flexible in terms of vacation because like i said everything wasn't mandatory and then i think third and fourth year i don't really know what the vibe is i will let you guys know overall thoughts i feel like i always get so many questions like do you like it do you not like it and i think there's no simple answer now that I like I said, like, I don't have any baseline to compare this to. So, like, as far as I'm concerned, like, this is what medical school looks like. And I have thoroughly enjoyed it. My first year was great. I think that preclinical was super fast. Taking step one right now after being only in medical school for 11 months is very scary. Um, and like I said, like, we did get some shorter breaks. Like, I would see people that would have, like, three weeks off at Christmas, that kind of thing. But honestly, I feel like there's only so much that you can learn being in a classroom. So like memorizing diseases. Um, I think what I always hear is that our like professors have always told us professors do not read the textbook. So, you know, like you may think there's this triad of symptoms for a certain disease, but like one patient might not have one of the symptoms in the triad because like they don't know how they're supposed to present. Like this, they're just telling you how they feel and these are the symptoms and they have this disease or illness. Um, and so I think at the end of the day, like the only way to really learn is to like be seeing patients and to learn how to take a really good um, history and learn what questions to ask based on your differential diagnosis. So I'm really excited because I think that having three years um, of being in the hospital at the bedside is going to be so, so, so helpful. And I feel like, like I said, there's only so much that you can learn being in the classroom. And I feel like my school did a really good job of like condensing things and focusing on like things that we didn't like removing things like the redundancies in the curriculum so i feel like i still learned a lot i think the biggest thing is like more time to design on my career path and focus in on it so like i'm really interested in family medicine my medical school does not have a family medicine um like department here and so if like after my core clerk shifts one option is i completely decided to do something totally different the other option is i'm like okay absolutely i'm definitely doing family medicine i have more time to do um away rotations and electives that are like related to family medicine so i think that like being done by the end of my second year with my core clerkships and knowing what I want to do then I'll have two years to explore and really like build up my resume my CV for things that are related to my future career of interest so at the end of the day I think that it works out it's been terrifying it has been fast but honestly I've loved every second and I think that the idea of going back to sit in a classroom after the summer is like terrifying and so I'm so happy that I just get to dive into clerkships and I know it's going to be hard but I'm excited Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching this video, learning all about my medical school curriculum. It's crazy. I don't know how many other schools are doing the one year preclinical. I don't know how many other schools are letting you graduate in three years. I'm staying for though, but I'm so excited that this is my journey. It has turned out to be amazing, better than expected. And yeah, make sure you guys subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of my videos when I'm launching new videos and make sure to connect with me on other social media platforms. Take care guys.